Hi there, good morning. So uh, we are still continuing with the um, trailer box project that we have. So I did patch up the big hole here. The, the, it's supposed to be a headlight, I a tail light there, but since it's well, it's just a trailer. So and we. Uh, buying the uh, the uh, correct um, daylight for this model is uh, maybe not too expensive but it's hard to find so um, we'll just patch it up and put a generic uh, daylights for that and some other lights going uh, to the sides of markers uh, uh, as per described in uh, trailer inspections and stuff like that so it'll be complete so uh, with that I need to do well uh, thick thick materials so our welder like uh, that one the MIG welder uh, is limited has a limited capacity so um, then we, I was thinking of buying a larger uh, MIG welder or a stick welder, but um, power constraint wise, I still have to uh, get my 220 volts to the garage done. And I, I don't have time for that. And we stumbled upon a cheap, it's a small welder too. But it has a, based on this, it has a hundred amp. There, yeah, hundred amp. So it's an Italian made uh, MIG, MIG welder, but it has a problem. So the wire that's supposed to come out there on the tip, just like this one, see as you can see the one we're using is getting it's getting stuck somewhere in in the line so uh some of for some of you who hasn't seen the mig wire yet because we are using like i said we are using uh welding rods back in the philippines that's the most common so the mig wires uses a literally a that's why they call it wire it's a welding wire it's a wire so this is uh they have sizes for this i believe this is the point uh, zero three zero diameter wire which is very common so what happens to this wire is this is the the feed right here put that down and you flip this that way so you put the wire there's two um two uh what do you call this this is a bearing underneath this is this is the bearing and this is the motor that feeds the wire uh through your handle right there so it goes like so there uh, it, it's kind of hard so without this and spooling completely so anyway you will you'll, you'll get the uh, you'll get the idea so this one goes through that small hole if you can see that there that small hole and this tool will squeeze the wire squeeze the wire go through from here see the wire it goes through that and goes through something like that 
So if this was running, if this was running, I'll show you. Let's plug it in. Let me get the extension cord plugged in. So, if this, if the wire is, um, uh, uh, what do you call that, fed, okay, just imagine that this wire is fed through that hole, through your um, handle, which is, this is your handle, see, so let's turn this machine on, oops. Okay, there's something wrong with the light there. Anyway, let's see. Yeah, there, the light is on. So, if you press the trigger, watch carefully. If you press the trigger, so it gradually uh, feeds the wire through your handle and thus you are welding with it so you don't you don't have to uh like like a welding rod once your welding rod is all all finished up all completed you have to throw that thing and reset again then weld again so uh, put a new welding rod on the handle and weld again with this it's a continuous thing. Just point and weld, point and weld. So they are compact. They are compact welders. Uh, presently, the guy that I bought this from, he is using a, this is set up for a gas, a uh, gas MIG. So, this welder is in, when I bought it, it includes the regulator for your gas shielding. But we are not going to use gas shielding because we don't have one. So what we're going to use is the same as that welder. We'll be using a flux cord wire. So it, they kind of difference is the color, but I don't know why. Maybe it's color coded. So anyway, we'll be using uh, this wire instead of this wire. So we don't need gas anymore. So the setup is for a gas shielding which uses argon uh, CO2 or argon CO2 mix. So, with further ado, let's try putting wire through because I tried to wedge, insert this wire um, through there and they just crumple. They just crumple. It's, it's like this. It's a... Uh, right here. So, this is the piece of um, MIG wire that I got from inside and they crumple. So I tried inserting um, inserting the wire to back feed it to see where where um, let's see I tried back feeding it here so that I could see where my 
wire would end up. So it's going in. Going in. Then stops right there. So it's really, there's something hard inside. Uh, the wire is hitting something hard. So maybe it's a big chunk of welded material or a broken uh, MIG wire that's stuck in there. So let's try to get this thing. Uh, uh, we'll see what's inside and I don't know either. So both you and I will be learning something. So let's see how far did it go. So it's somewhere, the stock, uh, the, 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 the blockage is somewhere, somewhere there, somewhere in the handle. So let's try ripping the handle and everything apart. And let's see if we could make this baby run. Uh, let me put you in a stand first. Okay.